first-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to do something a little different today, folks. We're going to go back to 911 and go through what the market did because it was one of the most emotional days that I've had in these markets in many, many years. And it wasn't it, even the, the crash of 87. I happened to be short on that, but I was short coming into that day. And uh, I always, at that time, I was talking to my neighbor, Arch Crawford, and we were chatting at the same time, uh, around 5.30 in the morning, when the first plane hit. And Arch said, this is it. And he said, we're getting ready to uh, go to war, is what I remember him telling me that. Now, I got off the phone after the first thing was hit, and I started to... Uh, call a few people, ask him if they had any information, particularly Byron Tucker. And Byron was on his way to the World Trade Center for a meeting, which was at 11 o'clock. And I told him, I said, BT, I said, turn around and go home. I said, something's hit the, uh, one of the big airplanes has hit the, the World Trade Center and there's not, things are good right now. First thing I did, the S&P was only down about eight points at that time of the morning, and it was still trading. It was trading actively, and the first thing I did was I closed out my short positions, and the reason why is I did not want to have anything to do with the, the disaster, if the disaster was coming, because I would make money, you know, on some people's, uh, I don't know, that's just my, hey, folks, that's just me. Sometimes, you know, you get lucky, but I just couldn't handle it. But the, the big thing that happened that really shook me up more than anything else was at <clears throat> exactly at 6 o'clock in the morning, which was 1 o'clock in the morning um, in uh, no, 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, 1 o'clock in the morning, Hawaii. My daughter Jill was there and her husband Kevin was in charge of Hickam Air Force bases. And he what he did was he was in charge of the drone program there. Well, at 6 o'clock, two MPs showed up at the door at Jill's house in Hawaii on Honolulu, and they, they uh, came in the door, and D Jill told me that, Dad, she said, they just pushed me aside and, and went inside to make sure that they got Kevin, and he said to, the, to Jill, she said, uh, we've got two minutes to get him out of here, get his clothes, his toothbrush, and he, she said, what's happening? And he, the guy said, we're at DEFCON 5, and... Uh, DEFCON 5 is pretty bad. <laughs> anyway, what happened was uh, they took Kevin away, and she didn't see him for seven days. Uh, the, she got to talk to him a few times, but uh, he was evidently needed at the base you know, for protection, whatever it happened to be. But she was absolutely, uh, really, really shook up. And I told her, I said, look, it's not the end of the world. I said, we're being attacked. Now, later on in the morning, you know, two hours later, the, whatever it was, a second plane hit. And then I told her, I said, yeah, this is really bad. I said, but things are going to be okay, and uh, we will eventually make it through. Uh, Arch Crawford told me 10 minutes before the Pentagon was hit that the Pentagon was going to be the next target. And, uh, you know, there's all kind of conspiracy theories and all that stuff, but uh, it's very sad we lost so many people. But the market action, that's what I want to talk to you about here, folks. You know, we have a rule here in the United States, part of the Constitution, the banks can't be closed more than five days in a row. We were closed six days in a row on this one. We finally opened on the 18th of September. And as you can see, the market sold off uh, rather dramatically uh, down to the, the day of the of the, re the bottom was there. But notice the bottom, folks. After the bottom came in, the market rallied. I mean, a lot. It rallied right up to a 61% retracement and then made the low, you know, uh, about eight or nine months lower. Uh, Someone's saying the chart's not coming through. I'm sorry, folks. Let me get this up here because 
I've saved this chart from for a long time, and and I think it's uh, it's pretty valuable. Hold on, just let me get the other uh, get this up here so we can all see it really easily. I hope anyway. Sorry for this. If you want a picture of this chart, all you have to do is uh, ask me and send ten dollars. Just ask me if you need it. But this is what we're this is what happened. You see, this was the low that came in right here. Here was the gap. We closed trading that day, uh, right before the open. And then the market came down eight days later, later and then rallied up to a 61% retracement. Okay, now I want you to look at that real closely, folks, because this is important. You see that 61% retracement right here? For those of you that like 3A2, here is what you should do. Go back and check it yourself. From this high to this low to this high was... Take a guess. Johnny in the back of the room is raising his hand and he's saying, 382, Professor, 382. And that's what's really important. Okay. Anyway, you can see what happened. The market rallied up to the 382 and then came down into the low of, uh, you know, no, uh, this was the 2005 low. Excuse me, the 2000 low dot com bubble low was right in here. And then from there, we had the rally up into. Uh, 07 and then 07 back down. But this is what's happened with the news and everything. So it was not the end of the world. Hardly it ever is. One day it will be, like the paranoid man says, I only have to be right but once, but you don't have a lot of fun doing it. Now, I've had a uh, request to talk a little bit about Goldman Sachs. And so what I did was I brought a chart up here, and I, I put the four-hour chart up because I don't I don't trade stocks. They're, they're just too boring for me. And uh, let's just get this up here. And I want to just go through the sequence. There is Goldman Sachs on the bottom where we were just a, f a couple months ago, right there in June. Remember? Look at that beautiful ABCD pattern. AB equals CD. Stick with it and you'll be free. Hold on just a second. I, as a poet, don't know it. I makes it rhyme every time. All right. That's Goldman Sachs. So where are we now with Goldman Sachs? The first thing you want to do is to take a look where we are right now. And as you can see here, whoops, that's where we were. We want to get to where we are right now. And here we are. I want to show you this pattern because we're going to be covering this pattern extensively in our show that we have on the 20th, the uh, all-time, uh, all-day trading session. But here is Goldman Sachs, and we'll get this up here. You'll be able to see that Goldman Sachs is in what we call a downtrend. You can see the big A, B, C, D. This is the same one we saw on the daily, only it's just a four-hour chart. Okay, so what's happened is we had the 382 rally first. We came down to point D, and then today we rallied up, and we made a 61% retracement within 20 cents, and we're now 10% off of that. So I don't know if this is anything to pay attention to in Goldman Sachs, but it's very interesting to see that that's what it's done. Now, the third part that you want to be able to look at, and this is a very important pattern because you're looking at a one, three, five pattern. You have three lower tops. Now, to make this, hey, folks, if it makes a new high on the day and closes above here, you're wrong. But this is what's good about pattern recognition is you don't have to worry about where it's going to go or how it's going to go. Just put your stop in and don't worry because you can't predict what's going to happen next. But this is what should happen. Here is the, the – uh oh, take a – we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. C -c Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. I wanted to finish up a little bit. I posted uh, into the Tiger Den. I posted a YouTube video of Larry Williams. It's 30 minutes long, and uh, Larry's uh, been – I've known Larry since 1965, and he is one of the best uh, teachers in the business. He's a tremendous trader, a great human being, very philanthropic. And if you'll take a look at that video, what he's saying is be really careful here as you go through the uh, markets today. And seeing how these things are happening right here at this time frame between the 12th, 13th, and 14th of September. He had some statistics in there showing the negativity. Now, I asked Larry if I could bring each one of those charts up and show them. And he said, Larry, he said, I prefer the people to do the work themselves. And I said, oh, what an interesting concept. Defy human nature. Do the work yourself. So go back and look at the time frames in September. Uh, between the 12th and the 15th of each month, going back as far as you want to go. And you'll see that there's a really, really high probability. Why it's there, uh, he didn't know, and I certainly don't know. It certainly, well, we are, we're over a bunch of astro stuff, but that does. that's why the moon is so bright, folks, is we have the moon, you know, at perigee, and we have Venus at perigee, and that's why that moon is uh, such a big harvest moon. But getting back to Larry's thing, and it's it's really really interesting. Go in and take a look at it. If you if you can't find it, just go to YouTube, Larry Williams, and hit YouTube. It was uh, sent out on uh, the ninth or tenth. Uh, I think it was the ninth Friday, and so it's up to date, and it's got some really super information about being careful because overall he thinks we're going to come down into October, which is a bearish month. That's what I think we're going to have happen too. And then we're going to find out whether we rally from that level or not. So let's remind ourselves of that. We had a green report today. I want to cover that a little bit. And uh, we'll, we'll do that in just a few. Okay, we got uh, Pedro from Park City. How's the snow up there, buddy? No. Oh. Baby, a week ago it was 107 in Salt Lake. <laughs> oh my God, I, I saw the I saw the temperatures there, Peter, and I can't uh, I can't believe how hot it was. What's up, buddy? I saw 90. I saw 95 in Park City. I was like, okay, oh. well, that's never happened before. <laughs> yeah. Holy hey, I wanted to cow. look at the euro. In your newsletter, you had the down uh, the chart uh, showing the down downtrend um, in the yes. euro, and when I was looking at it, uh, the oh. 0.68. 
618 came in at 102. The downtrend channel came in at 102. This minor 15 minute up channel came in at 102. Um, yeah. Is this basically it in the euro? Do you think? Uh, well, you know, I think so. Let me let me cover that right now, Peter, because what I did was I, I had several people ask me about that. And the first thing I wanted to do was to go and look at the, uh, the long term, you know, weekly pattern in the euro. This will help explain why we had the sell off. If you'll you'll watch it here when you get a chance, you'll see uh, you'll be looking at this uh, big ABCD. Now, this is a, a weekly chart. And so that that high that we made just the other day at uh, 110. Uh, 61 was a 786 on the monthly. So that tells us that there's a possibility that this euro might rally a whole lot more. And I mean a whole lot more, maybe just two or 300 pips. But that 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 is such a big number up there that it, it just really, and it hit it exactly. Here's another case, if you'll go back and look at it on the monthly chart and just prove it to yourself, that it'll really uh, make you believe in these numbers a little. You already believe in it, Peter, but other people don't. So that's another way of, of looking at uh, how they should line up. But you're right, there. that is a big thing that's happening right here in the U.S. dollar as we speak today, and we mentioned it, of course, in the newsletter. Yeah, what was interesting was like, uh, so the euro went to the 0.618, the pound went to the 6.8. Um, the yen couldn't even get, if you used the early August high, could get to a 0.236. If you used the late August one, it got to the 3.82, and they all stopped dead in the water. Yeah. Well, this is uh, this is why we have to watch that. That those numbers, you know, you have to pay attention to them because they <laughs> they don't work all the time. But my goodness, when they work, they work extremely well, and that's that's why I use them because they give you a really good idea of where you are, you know, in the market. But you know, mm -hmm. Peter, you already know this, but you know, one of the reasons you do this is you're going to have to learn how to take losses because the only way you fail in this business is if you stop trying, because if you stop trying, you're dead. If you keep trying, you're eventually going to get it right. And that's uh, that's the whole premise of what trading is all about. It's a journey, not a destination. There you go. All right. Well, I guess tomorrow's CPI will determine the – Oh, dear. Uh, a yes, lot, there, a yep. lot with the dollar. Yeah, oh, it certainly will. You know, and one day bonds, it's a CPI, yeah. the next day it's a PC, it's IPC, the next day after that it's the yeah. ABCD. <laughs> I mean, these numbers, uh, they throw them out at you. All I do is look at the patterns and don't worry about what they're talking about for sure. <laughs> no, I appreciate it, Larry, and uh, look forward to next Tuesday. You bet. Come down and see me, Peter, if you get a chance. I'd love to see you. Oh, it would be great fun. All okay, right. you <laughs> bet. It sure Larry. would. Okay, okay uh, that's it. Let's get back to uh, what's happening in the in the corn market, folks. Big move here in corn. Let's get this up here. We've been very bullish corn for a considerable time and uh, not in the position. We didn't quite uh, follow it the way we wanted to. Made some money, but not as much as we should have. But uh, today's action, look at, look at this, folks. If you don't believe in 382, look at the low this morning before the report. And this is an hourly chart, folks. It just hangs there right at the... 382, and from there off to the races. You'll see the ABCD on this hourly chart was exceeded by quite a bit. I believe we've hit $7 corn. I'm not sure. On the long term daily, there's a lot of resistance at 703 in the corn. So let's uh, you know keep an eye on that. Now, one of I, I will I like you know the greens are really a lot of fun to trade, especially into a report if you've got the courage and put the you know put your orders in and stuff. But I wanted to show you. Uh, the pattern that we had this morning. Now, this is the kind of pattern that we're going to be looking at when we uh, do the day trading thing on the 20th of uh, – hold on. Where are you? There you are. There's my charts. Just a second here. going to have to get John to help me with this darn thing. Hold on. Here's a 15-minute chart on wheat this morning. Now, we're basically very friendly to wheat. But as you can see here, this morning we made a perfect A, B, C, D. And it's a 15-minute chart, so it took about four hours to complete that. And there it was setting right at the 1.27. You had very little exposure, and that was a 20-cent move, folks. Now, it missed the target on the downside. It only got to just about here. And, of course, I would not go into a crop report, even if they let me trade for free, because it's just suicide, and I don't think it's a smart thing to do. And, of course, the report was bullish. And what's happened so far is the wheat rallied all the way up to the 61% retracement up into this level. So that held it pretty well. So... That's what we're paying you know, attention to. Now, I already showed the, the chart on the corn 
The next one I want to bring up to you is the L soybeans, and we'll get this up here. This is the uh, soybean chart right here. As you can see here, uh, oh, here, let me finish up. There's the wheat chart. You'll see the whole thing. Just a second. I even brought that in. So you'll see where we came down and, and maybe uh, completed the pattern and then held before the rally up to the 61% retracement. And then you'll be able to see uh, what's going on. What I'll be doing, you know, during the, uh, the uh, trading that we do, I'll use probably 50, well, I will use 15-minute charts for entry. And the reason for that is that you see a lot of those during the day. But the patterns work on anything. You can see the Goldman Sachs things. I mean, they work. And I'm going to prove to you why they work during that session. So we'll be right back. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we're back, and I put the chart up of soybeans. As you can see, it's had a really big move today along with the corn. And uh, so this is pretty much what, uh, as expected. Big numbers up here, around $7 in the corn. So pay uh, close attention to that. But the main thing you should pay close attention to is what's happening in the market this week with the thing moving up uh, quite a bit into these days here. This is not the place to be. I know we are hit the FIB number at 4140, uh, I believe. Uh, in the S&P, we're not too far away from that right now. But someone asked a question about how do you handle it when you roll over from December, uh, from the uh, from the September contract. And here's here's what I do, folks. I'll get up here so you can see the the pattern unfold here. But 
here is my chart and I use 15 minute charts because that gives you a lot of patterns and stuff this one goes back a little bit farther and I believe it's a four hour chart so I could show it to you but I wanted to want you to see the 382 retracement for the move down you can see the 61 percent retracement was hit last night and we backed off about 25 handles and then we came down and now we're heading higher uh, how much higher? I really don't know, but we're probably going to go higher. But I'm watching it on a 15-minute basis, and when I see a, a pattern during that time, I'll be able to look at it. And I had two really nice patterns today uh, in the S&P at the 3A2, and they had a nice profit in. Uh, what I did is I put the stop at break even just to see if it catches a really big one, but it didn't. So it got out at break even, and then I wait to see what the next one is going to do. That's it. So that's the main thing. Keep it also keep a really close eye uh, on the gold market, folks. We went up above 1740 uh, up to that 1745 level, which was 50 percent of the previous rally that we made. And I think that's something that uh, deserves your attention to uh, keep an eye of uh, what's going on uh, with that. Now I wanted to go on just a little bit more about the 9/11, uh, how it was affected. The airlines during that time, about 10 days from 18th of September into the 1st of October, nobody would fly. I mean, nobody. Flight to Las Vegas round trip from Tucson was $25, and they had flights going to Hawaii for $100. I swear to God, $100 round trip, minimum of five tickets. Booked any time you want. So for 500 bucks, you could go back and forth for $100. 50 one way, 50 the other. And since Jill was there with uh, the baby, I said, well, I'm going to take those five. And by golly, I used all five of them. The first flight that I took to Hawaii, and we were on a, seven, a 737 Boeing. There were 19 people on the plane. And they had enough spots that anybody wanted to set in first class. I could do it, and so uh, that was pretty cool. And then I had to go to Las Vegas. Uh, the Money Show was there uh, in early October, and I stayed at the uh, uh, not what's the name of it, uh, dear, not the Aladdin. The, the um, starts with a V. Right next to Paris, I'll think of it. The, the, the Venetian. I stayed at the Venetian, and they they want the room was free, okay, because I was working for the Money Show. And the lady said, she sir, she says you're here for three days, and she said for an extra hundred dollars we can upgrade you to a high roller suite. And I said, what's that? She says, well, it's a one bedroom suite overlooking the Strip. And it comes with a wine and cheese butler. will come in every day around 4 o'clock to bring you wine and cheese. And they had some other perks that were involved with it. For So for an extra – that was not $100 a day. It was $33 a day just for that. That room during the regular time was $2,200. That's how that's – how, there was nobody there. I mean there really wasn't. But service was spectacular. This room was – oh, you know, I'm not a picture taker. I don't take a – even with my little camera, I just don't take many pictures. I probably should have, but you should have seen this room. It was it was awesome. I'm sitting there looking at this thing. They had a widescreen TV before widescreen TVs were really popular, but it was uh, really pretty cool. And then what else? I'll uh, get that in Las Vegas. That was basically – oh, one more thing. In the money show in in, 2000, in, in 02, uh, 2002 – one year, you know, this was September, and then coming into March, March of uh, 08 was the big money show at the Marriott Marquis in uh, New York, and Jim Berkwin and J Jim Sugarman had been my students. Well, they still are and still good friends, but they started the money show back in 94, 95, and the hotel and also the money show people said, we're going to give you the option to cancel because, you know, there's probably not going to be many people coming. And uh, Jim said, well, we really like to go through with it. And the, the hotel uh, said, OK. He said, we'll make a deal with you. If it doesn't go well, you get your money back. If it goes well, you pay half price. And folks, this was the biggest money show that they ever had in New York City. This record still stands to this day. That's when I first met uh, Tom O'Brien. He was there uh, with, uh, you know, he, he went as well as I did. I had a little booth there and stuff. And that's when I first met Tom O'Brien. I'll, I'll tell you the story behind that. Uh, Tom was being uh, inter – well, he was giving his lectures and stuff, and uh, the two hockey players were there, uh, Jim U 
Jack Hughes and uh, Jack Jim <laughs> Jack Hughes and Jack Callahan were there, and he was talking about Fibonacci. And they went up to him. He said, "Well, you really should, you don't really know very much about Fibonacci. You should go talk to the old man, which was me. That was 20 years ago." <laughs> and uh, so that's how I got to meet Tom, and we became friends. And then in '07, I started doing this show here with TFNN. Okay, if you have any questions, folks, it's eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, and it's going to be an interesting few days here for sure uh, folks the bond market doesn't have any friends it's not going to have any friends and it just keeps going lower so no matter what the fed tries to tell you this thing is heading down i mean it really is we've got some more to go uh, to the downside and we've been bearish you know bonds now for about two and a half years we're getting close to what we think is a pretty good bottom let's see if we can get this up here and by golly there it is hold on we'll get it up here to let you see what's going on here this is a short-term one, so well, this is a weekly, but uh, we are really, really close to what we think is going to be. A, and this, all this is going to be, folks, is a tradable bottom. You have to realize that this is it. You, you and I, we're never going to see zero interest rates or rates like this ever again. That, that's not going to happen. Look at this, the big ABC. There's your 382. That's when we became super bearish. There's the one, three, five patterns, you know, six, seven months ago. And look what it's been going down. This last was a 382 up there at 146 in the bonds. And it should be down to about 129, 127. We're at 132 right now. So we got about four or five more points. At that point, you're going to see on the weekly, you're going to see a little three drive to a bottom pattern. And that should get you a rally, probably up about 382 off of the high that we made last year. That's all it's going to be. And if you don't believe these things work, oh, someone just posted in the Tiger Den. This is one of the reasons why you want to get into the Tiger Den. It posted U.S. crop production, and it showed how bad the corn crop is and how bad the soybean crop is, and that's pulling up wheat also. But uh, we're also we're at some major, major resistance up here at $7 corn, folks. Got to pay attention to it. Really is. Uh, I'm going to do a special video on that tonight. Uh, we alerted folks about the possibility of a bullish report today, which we did get. And uh, But we're in the longer term. We were able to see that we're at uh, pretty nice areas. Let me just show you, uh, we'll get back to the notes, which is the short-term paper here that we have. You'll see that it's breaking down now below the 786 uh, uh, support that we thought was going to happen here. So we are heading down. And that tells us we're probably still heading down towards the uh, – uh, what do you call it, the next uh, area of support in here of what we're looking at. We've got a break coming up here in just a minute, and I'll answer a few questions about the Goldman Sachs chart uh, that someone's asked me about. So we'll be right back, folks, 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I got a couple questions here from folks that need to, need to be covered here. The first one is about the Goldman Sachs. Uh, basically, what you're looking at here is the, the Hearst cycle finder. All you do is you go from a high to a high to high. And if that symmetry is there, then you've got the 135 pattern. I've already went through the ratios. Uh, ratio number five was 61% of the number one high. And as long as we don't get above 44, uh, excuse me, 440 uh, in the uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, this thing's probably heading down. Right now, it's uh, uh, the high was uh, 44, I believe, 444, and I believe we're at 440 right now. So that's uh, what we're watching here. Uh, the other thing that someone asked me about was the E-mini and how I handle that. And all I'll do is I'll, I'll bring this chart back up and show you again because it's really difficult when you're switching over to contract months because these people that change this really don't care about technical analysis stuff. And that's one of the reasons why I have Jim Twentyman in my back pocket because he, he's, a, <laughs> he's a stickler for perfection. Here's how I handle it. Even though they're trading December – Okay, I go to the September because there's still active trading that there will be until I believe this Thursday. But if you'll notice here, the distance between these areas is just exactly the way it should be. Now, once we went above the 61% retracement last night, which I believe is at 4105, you had you had to assume that we were going to go higher, and that's exactly what was happening. Now, in two days, two days from now. You're going to be able to see the December just as clear as it as it can be. But on the day of, of rolling over like we had, this is it. They shouldn't roll over until the last day of trading. But the tech people that do these charting things, they don't want to do it the right way. So that's the main thing that you want to pay attention to. I hope that answers your question. Now, I had some questions about the type of trades that I'm going to be looking at when uh, I'm doing you know, the day trading thing. And, and one of them, of course – was the wheat, okay? And here is another one that I was very, very interested in today because, you know, we have these big moves happening and they're switching over to contracts and stuff. So this is the same pattern that we saw in the Dow Jones. It's the same pattern that we saw in the E-mini S&P. But I'm going to use the NASDAQ because someone was asking me about the NASDAQ. And there's your ABCD pattern right here. And his question was, can I sell at that point? And I said, sure, you can. All you have to do is put your stop at about 20 points above it. And the first, your first objective would be just exactly what the last swing happened. And you can see the last swing was perfect A, B, C, D. That's the action today. Look at that. Exactly at the 61% retracement. There's when we blasted through the 61% retracement on the September contract. OK, so that's what happened with that. So what I did today, I followed through with the uh, gentleman that was asking about that. And we had pre-planned everything on this. And the first thing I told him, let me get this up here, 
is to watch the first 382 retracement because you know how we like 382 retracements. And this has been really interesting because it's dramatic of what happened today. You'll see as the market made, there's the high. There's your first objective right there, right at the 382. Folks, do the work yourself. This distance right here is exactly like this distance right here. Just do the work yourself. This is a 382 off of the low we made this morning, mid-morning, mid okay? And what did the market do? It came all the way down, way through here. Okay, then it's rallied up a little bit. Once we went below that 382 after making this high, that made another A. You'll see it right here. There's your A. B, C, D made another perfect A, B, C down here at the 50% level and now starting to rally. But the first time we've seen any sign of a top was this pattern that's going on right now. So whether that means anything, I don't know. But that's uh, that's how I'm going to be watching these things uh, on the five hours that we have together on the 20th. Uh, there's so much stuff that you're going to get to get any books that I have. Uh, you'll get the uh, the 135 PowerPoint. You'll get the uh, one of my very, very favorite things to do is the Mandelbrot Fractal. Oh, that that's just an awesome uh, uh, PowerPoint. And you're going to get the overall uh, teaching PowerPoint and uh, opening price. I mean, I've got just so much to cover. What I do is we'll put a trades on. We'll, we'll look for about three or four trades. This will be our fourth one. This will be our last one for this year. And... Uh, I hope you can make it. It's certainly worth it. And our, the goal is, I'm going to be doing the teaching, but the goal is to make money. And we've done well on the other three. We'd have a heck of a, we'd be going pretty good today based on what we're seeing so far today. But not, not every day is going to be like that, that's for sure. Okay, the other question that someone had was about, let's get it up here, the dollar index. I want to show you why this was so important that we were expecting a rally in the euro. Just one second here. And here we go. This is the dollar index on the daily basis. And you'll see here, get this up so we can see it. All right, now, this was the 382. And we said in the newsletter, if we go below that by just a little bit, your next profit, would, or your next expected move would be down to this level right here, which would take you down to 105. Folks, here's something I'd like for you to do for yourself, okay? just to, If you don't believe in these Fibonacci numbers, this would be the last time. Well, no, it won't because I'll keep beating the hell out of it until you get it right. You can see the big A, B, C, D on the daily, okay? We showed you that on the weekly too, okay? There's the daily, A, B, C, D. That's the weekly. Look at this number right here, folks. You see that number over there? That 1.618 number at 110.66. Do you know what the actual number is? From the this is a monthly chart on the euro. It's 110.63. It went five pips above that. And this is a monthly chart going back 17 years. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. Okay, let's move on here to the next one that we have questions in. we got a couple minutes before we come to the final break. And we had another question to reshow that picture of that in the daily, um, in the weekly chart for the the request came from me folks because it's that important there is the weekly um, you can see that that's the weekly the monthly you got to do yourself but there, there's your there's your number on the monthly right there that number right there just go look at it on the monthly it is a beautiful long term uh, what we call a uh, Fibonacci 786 uh, retracement. But look at the little three drive here you have too, right into that. Look at that little three drive on the weekly. This is, could be a really big, really big deal here for the currency's turning. Now, if the currency turns, okay, and that means a dollar gets weak, get ready for gold, folks. You know, we've been sort of friendly to gold on that last move down. So uh, watch it. It's going to be, as they say in the trade, very, very interesting. That's the main thing that you want to uh, be looking at. Okay, let's move on. We've got another minute to go. And I want, oh, the natural gas, son of a gun. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Look at this. If you like ABCDs and you like activity, and I like both, let's get up here and show you what happened to natural gas today. Because if you like ABCD, and we were doing this ahead of time, of course, if you'll get up here and take a look. You'll see there's where we were. Look at this. A, B, C, D right there. There's your D. A, 
B, 78% retracement. There's your point D. And from here, folks, we went above the 1.618 expansion. Big move in natural gas. 877-927-6648. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I'm getting myself up. Oh, are we starting? I hope we're on the air. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I posted a chart here of the crude oil, folks. This is one of the things we focused on over the weekend, especially to watch the crude oil because we had a beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern on the daily down there at, at uh, 81.56 and the low was uh, 81.12. And now we had the rally up. What I wanted to show them is, is look for 382 retracement. And there's what we got it within 15 points this morning. And it was exactly equal to this last correction that we had right here. I said $2 down here and $2 down here. We went $2.50. There was your 382 and then uh, off to the races. So we've had a major bottom, I believe, in crude oil, uh, crude oil, natural gas, and also in heating oil. 
And I don't know what that CPI number is going to be, but whether it'll be reflected by this, I think those numbers that are going to be in the CPI are going to be numbers that we've had the past week, which is going to make it look pretty good when, in fact, there's been a heck of a rally afterwards. So uh, remind ourselves here that uh, you got to pay attention to what's happening and not what they're saying to you, at least, uh, you know, from the uh, overall picture of you know, what we're looking at here. Tomorrow, uh, our guest is going to be Dr. David Paul from VectorVest. On Wednesday, uh, we are going to have uh, Rich Anderson. We're going to be talking about the grains, of course. Uh, on Thursday, we have Shane Smolian, the wolf trader. And then on Friday, we're going to have uh, none other than Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. Uh, I wanted to go over uh, one other chart and that is the uh, that's traded very heavily, and that is the German DAX. And it, of course, it's uh, trading in a different time zone, but it was telegraphing this morning that they were really looking at higher prices uh, over in the UK. Whether it was related to all the pomp and circumstance that's going around with the Queen, I'm not sure, but that's what we're looking at. Could someone uh, tell me the last price of uh, Goldman Sachs? stock please as long as we don't get above that 44 level we're going lower live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless